One of the good things about working with Google Drive is that you're not locked down to being online all the time. There is an offline feature. When using the offline feature though, you need to have a bit of forethought to make sure that you've set this up correctly before you don't have internet access. So the first thing you need to do is go into your settings options. If I click on settings, cog and go to settings, the thing I need to turn on here is the here where it says offline. If I tick this, then it means that my Google Docs, Sheets and Slide files will be available when I'm offline. So now I've ticked this, you can see it's setting this up offline and syncing all my files into an offline mode. One thing to think about when doing this is to do it only on your main computer. As it says here, not recommended on public or shared computers. Um, so just do it on your main computer. And this can take a bit of time if you've got a lot of files. So I'm gonna click done and the syncing is still going on here. What I've now got though, if you look at the top here, is this icon, ready for offline. So if I click this and turn on the offline preview, it will then show me what is ready. So for example, this Meet Recordings is not ready yet, so it's grayed out. But if I go into my files option, again, I can see here these files are not ready yet, but once this synchronizing is done, these won't be grayed out anymore and they'll be ready. So there you can see a file here that is fully ready. So should I be offline, I could access this. Even if you don't have the internet on, so I'm in offline mode now, I can click new, I can create a new file. So I can work on my file. But what you'd see at the top here if you didn't have internet access is instead of saying all changes saved in drive, it would say changes saved offline. What will happen then once you are back online it will synchronize any documents you've been working on and add the new files as well. If I right click on a file as well, you'll also see this option available offline. So I can turn that on just to make sure that that document will be available should the internet go down. So particularly if you're going to a meeting and you know you don't have internet access, do make sure you go through to your document and turn that on just to be sure. If you're working on a tablet such as an iPad or on your phone and using the Google Drive app, you can also make documents available offline there. So on my view here, I can click on the three dots and there is an option to make available offline. So I click there and now it's setting that up so that will be available again should my internet go down. If you're working on a Windows PC or a MacBook, you also have an option for something called Google Drive File Stream. So if I scroll down, I've got Drive File Stream. You have to install this and sign in. And then once you are in your drive, so this is a way of accessing your drive through File Explorer. So I can click on my My Drive. And then if I wanted a different type of file offline, I can actually right click on this, click on Drive File Stream and make this available offline. So again, this does require some forethought, uh, but then that would be available should the internet go down. So I hope this has helped you get an idea of how you can work in Google Drive whilst not being connected to the internet.